Alrighty. Well, hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Monterey Bay Aquarium here live all across the internet. We should be streaming live now on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitch, and on Twitter. Good morning, everybody. My name is Patrick. I work for the Monterey Bay Aquarium social media team. And just super quick, as we watch the sunrise here over Giving Tuesday, a day where we can support our nonprofits that are doing tremendous work for the world and not to toot our own horn too much this early in the morning, but our mission here at the aquarium is to inspire conservation of the ocean. We've been at it since 1984 here in this location here along the central coast of California. We are looking down the famed Cannery Row, looking east of Eden towards the Salinas Valley that Steinbeck made popular. But in this area, we are also looking at the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary, numerous marine protected areas, and a recovering ecosystem here that is home to sea otters, whales, orcas, and countless fishes, invertebrates, kelp, and all of the ocean wonders that you can see inside the aquarium. We've got them right out here off the back deck. Uh, good morning to everybody who's tuning in right now. We're gonna watch the sunrise here. And uh, wherever you happen to be watching on Facebook, there's a donate button here on this post if you wanted to help support us with any leftovers you might have of uh, your holiday spending, or if you wanted to help support the aquarium here for Giving Tuesday, uh, your support goes directly to, again, the continuation of our mission of ocean conservation, and also keep all of your favorite animals here at the aquarium well-fed and taken care of. You all have gone above and beyond during this pandemic to support this aquarium, to support our mission, to support our animals. And uh, we really appreciate all of you who have already done so. And now is another time for Giving Tuesday here. Just wanna give a shout out over here on Twitch. We've got Fele GB for the first time joining us over there in our Twitch community. Hey, good morning. Thank you so much for being there. Wanted to shout out all the folks over there on Facebook that are tuning in. We got some folks watching from Michigan. We've got some folks watching from Idaho, ooh, Tampa, Florida. Good morning, East Coast. Hope the day is going well in the future there. We've got Arizona here tuning in. Sacramento, hello, Texas. Oh, I think uh, we have a winner so far for uh, distance internationally. We've got El Bashir over there in Algeria. Thank you for uh, tuning in. If you'll allow the pun, our kelp forest exhibit also has some affinity with Algeria. Sorry, that's probably a little bit too early in the morning and the coffee hasn't kicked in. Um, are those otters or seals center right on the screen or just a small rock outcropping? Uh, yeah, center right on the screen, we've got some rocks. Uh, it's relatively high tide right now. And we've got some cormorants that are trying to stay dry up there on the last little bit of rock sticking out of the high tides. You may know that we have the king tides coming up here fairly soon at the end of the week. Um, and the king tides are the highest of the tides that we get, or the lowest and the highest of the tides, the biggest tidal swing that we get um, during the year. And so we'll be doing some more live streams on Friday. Hello from Iowa, Houston is here, New York. We've got California, awesome. Kentucky, Portland, Oregon, Los Angeles, Minnesota. I'll say hello to Bob, hello Bob, <laughs> wherever you happen to be. East Los Angeles, Vancouver, Washington. Oh my goodness, people are tuning in from all over the world. And that's just over on Facebook. Take a look over here on YouTube. Now oh, we're doing good over there on YouTube. Well, thank you so much everybody for tuning in. Um, oh, and we've got some folks that are watching from the valley. They're socked in right now, maybe with a little bit of fog. Northwest Florida is over there on Twitch. Thank you, Aitsu. And uh, oh, thank you so much for including the aquarium in your fundraiser over there on Twitch there, Plumber K. That's awesome. Yes, so uh, once again, we are here along the back deck of the aquarium. My name's Patrick, if you are just tuning in, thank you so much for being there. We are looking towards Mount Toro. That's the mountain there in the background. Uh, and that mountain actually every so often we'll get some snow in the winter here. And the shoreline that you're looking at is Monterey, seaside towards Marina as you head off to the left of the screen with Monterey kind of tucked in over on the right-hand side behind Cannery Row. Every so often when we post 
sunrise photos on our social media feeds here, people are wondering how come the sun is rising over the ocean. And here along the Monterey Bay, if you put your fingers up in, uh, in goalposts, like you might know, uh, you know, flicking the little paper football, if you make your goalposts there, your right index finger would be Santa Cruz, where your two thumbs are meeting in the middle, that would be Moss Landing. And then the, um, the little nook there between your left thumb and index is where Monterey is. And so all along that, uh, all along that shore there of the Monterey coastline, we're kind of looking back east. Uh, and so that's why we get to have sunrises with the ocean and also sunsets with the ocean as the sunset behind us, behind us over in Pacific Grove, Pebble Beach, and Carmel area. Just a little bit of uh, geography if you needed to. <laughs> Good morning, everybody tuning in over there on Twitch as well. Thanks for being there. And hello, everybody there on Facebook as well. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for your donations. We've got a few folks there that have uh, donated here to the aquarium on this live stream already. We truly, truly appreciate those donations. If you're over there on Twitch, we have a Tiltify campaign that is ongoing there. You can also support us by subscribing over there on Twitch. Uh, we've got a few emotes for you if you subscribe to us over there. So thank you so much for uh, doing that. And uh, to the folks over there on YouTube, we also have another fundraiser if you're interested in uh, donating to the aquarium that way. Also, you folks, if you head over to our website, you can always become members of the aquarium and you'll have access to our digital offerings of our aquarium member lives and also admission to the aquarium, discounts in the gift and bookstore, you name it. Um, lots of ways you can help support the aquarium. The things that we're doing here at the aquarium, obviously it's been a tough few years with our extended closure, but our science continued. We continue to do a lot of advocacy work uh, with our legislators to get the ocean top of mind, front of the billing for climate change work, as well as different work with uh, fisheries through our Seafood Watch program that you folks probably know. Oh, hey, Don Ramirez over there in Turlock. That's where my family is from. Hello, Central Valley. Hello, Turlock. Um, and uh, our work with uh, Charismatic Megafauna continues as well. You might know that we are working hard on our deep exhibit, Into the Deep, which will be coming out next year. Uh, I honestly can't believe that we're saying that, but that Into the Deep exhibit is coming out very soon. Um, so stay tuned on that. We're doing a lot of research and development there to show you some of the amazing world that we have deep down in the Monterey Bay here and all around the deep sea. The deep sea being 95% of the real estate on planet Earth in terms of volume. You can see the ocean there occupies half of the screen and then the atmosphere there, the rest of it on uh, this broadcast. Imagine though that in the ocean, there's life that goes from that surface all the way down to the deepest point Whereas in the atmosphere, the amount of life that we get are usually just birds there for a little bit, maybe some uh, baby spiders, viruses, yeasts, things of that nature. But you don't have, say, gigantic whales suspended in the air, diving down 10,000 feet like a bird's beaked whale to go dine on some squid. That's not really happening above us quite so much. So imagine all of the life that is on that ocean side looking down. That's what we're hoping to bring to you in that deep exhibit. And over here on the left, I think I have time to zoom in just a little bit on the screen. We continue to work with our furry little friends, the sea otters. And I'm not sure if you can see them, but right here, there's a raft of a couple sea otters that are hanging out. We got three sea otters hanging out right off the back deck. And these are wild sea otters here, for those of you folks visiting the aquarium. We do not feed those otters off the back deck. They feed themselves in the recovering uh, reef area, the kelp forest that we have here off of the back deck. A uh, little thin kelp forest right now with some of the winter uh, waves that have already come through and torn out some of that canopy. However, we do have quite the bit of kelp off the back deck, more so than we have had in many years with a very good upwelling year this year, hoping that we'll continue to have a trend of good water for kelp growth going forward. And then if you're curious as to where we are related to the aquarium, we're currently on the splash zone deck. So there's the main aquarium building with our smokestacks. 
that make us look like the old cannery that we once were, the Hovden Cannery. There's the restaurant there, the open sea wing on the other side, our great tide pool right here. And as you can see, the great tide pool is currently an extension of the ocean because we've got those high tides and we'll be having those king tides again on Friday. And now back over here for the star of the show, as it were, literally the star, Sol, our sun, which will be rising because the earth is spinning as we're standing towards it right now, which is kind of interesting to think about that I'm falling towards the sun with the rest of the planet as it is about to rise here. Ooh, and Angela over on Facebook wants to go see the butterflies in Pacific Grove. Yeah, they're here this year. Last year we had very, very few. This year we have several thousand over there and uh, we're actually planning on doing some streaming with the butterflies at some point, talking a little bit about how climate change is affecting their migration, their population numbers. But this year, got those butterflies back here, coming over here. Oh, we've got Kelly over on Facebook that had their scuba diving certification at Moss Landing. Oh, miss you too. Yeah, what a great place to dive. Oh, we have, nope, never mind. It was a little bit too fast. We had a sea otter directly below the deck just now. Moved away faster than I could go try to grab any video. And uh, checking back over on Twitch. Oh, the carrots, this is, a lot prettier than the snowy mess here at home. Well, uh, yeah, we've got, we've got very rare uh, events of snowfall on the beaches here in Monterey. It's not impossible, and I would love to see it happen. Last year, we did get some snow on this mountain that's straight in front of us. Again, that's Mount Toro. Um, and over to our left is Fremont Peak. And now we got both of them in view. Both Fremont Peak and Toro Peak had snow on them a couple years ago, and that was super fun to see. Of course, the snow just being the ocean going on a ski trip. Oh, we've got Misty over there with some more Turlock hype. Yeah, let's go, Turlock. All right, cool. Caught up with everybody over there on Twitch. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. And if you are just joining us, Welcome from the back deck of the Monterey Bay Aquarium. My name's Patrick. I work for the Aquarium's social media team. And we are here live this morning for Giving Tuesday. Oh, and I just noticed <laughs> we might not be live over on YouTube, and that's okay. All good. We will go live now. Great. All right. Well, once again, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Monterey Bay Aquarium here live all across the internet. We're live on Facebook, on Twitch. We're live over here on YouTube now. And we're live over on Twitter too. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in, for joining us here. We are live from the back deck of the aquarium, watching the sunrise over Giving Tuesday. Uh, and we are here to let you all know that your support of the aquarium is what makes our mission of ocean conservation possible. You all have been utterly possum throughout our closure the last couple of years and through our reopening and your support of the aquarium. And your donations today go directly to the continued mission of ocean conservation that we have here at the aquarium, as well as the care of the animals that we have here with us. The aquarium is your window into the Monterey Bay. We are here to show you what we have right outside here off the back deck of the aquarium in this protected Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary that has been recovering from the uh, industrialization of its fisheries back in the day. We're looking down Cannery Row. This whole area used to pump out a quarter million tons of sardines every year. I believe that's the number, yes. And that was one of the largest fisheries in the world during the 1930s and 1940s. And this whole area experienced a crash of that fishery, partly due to the changes of 
ocean climate that were going on at the time, where the ocean goes between colder cycles and warmer cycles with some frequency, and that benefits certain fish species over others. The other thing is that we simply caught too many of the fish too quickly and didn't realize that we were getting diminishing returns. And so now here along the Monterey Bay, we have numerous marine science institutions studying this protected body of water, studying this recovering ecosystem. And the aquarium is inside an old cannery. And so nowadays people support us to come look at fish at the aquarium instead of uh, paying for those fish to be put into a can. So this is an area where we've seen our relationship with the ocean change from exploitation back to conservation and to the respect that the folks that have been living here and continue to live here for thousands of years were in communion with their environment in a similar way to how we are trying to approach it now. And all of your support makes that possible. So thank you so much to everybody who might be considering donating to the aquarium right now. We have a donate button there on Facebook. We also have a donation running there on YouTube. Many of you folks there are tuning in. And for the folks that are over there on YouTube, good morning. Thank you for joining us. The sunrise is just about to happen over Toro Peak there, Mount Toro in the background. So we should get to see the sunrise happen very, very soon here. And for the folks over there on Twitch, thank you so much for, oh, there we go. We've got Emily there in the chat giving you that donate prompt. If you folks are interested in supporting the aquarium, you can sub to our Twitch. And if you want to sub over there, that support goes directly to the aquarium, or you can hit that donate button there that Emily just put in there. Hey, Dance Electric, first time chat. Thank you so much for being here on the channel. So great to have you here. And the carrot is asking, are those seagulls we hear in the background? Yes, they are. Yeah, I actually tried to set up the camera this morning so that I've got my lav mic, you can hear me talking, but also get the ambient seagull sound. Uh, I grew up away from the aquarium. When I was five years old, I saw the sea otters here at the aquarium and I wanted to be a marine biologist and come and work here, uh, which I ended up doing through UC Santa Cruz at that marine science program. But uh, I grew up in the Alps and in the suburbs of Stockholm in Sweden. And uh, whenever I come down to the aquarium, when I hear the seagull sound, there's a little trigger that changes in my brain where I'm like, oh, we're there, we're at the ocean. So <laughs> if you live by, you don't have to live by the ocean to see seagulls. Obviously, all of the uh, birders out there are, are sure to point out that they're just gulls. And if they fly over the bay, then they're bay gulls. Um, seagulls can be found inland, of course. But there's just something about that sound that is always there for me, for the ocean. So I was hoping to pick that up. So I'm glad that it worked out. Um, I probably can't show you this. No, I can't because it just dove. But just below us, one of those two birds that uh, dove down in the middle was a loon. And those are migratory birds that come here during the winter time. So it's always fun to see the loons down there. And uh, do yourself a favor when you're done with this, pull up loon calls, the sounds that loon makes, uh, or I guess you could search for loony tunes, but you might come up with something different. Um, but those, uh, those loons make a really, really beautiful call. And if you haven't heard that before, uh, I can recommend the experience highly. Um, oh, we've got Habcob over there on Twitch for the first time joining us. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Oh, the carrot. Oh, well, we hope we hope that uh, the seagull sounds are there to lift the soul, even as the melancholy is filling it in there. All right, heading back over to Facebook real quick, just to say hello to all of the folks there. Oh, thanks for tuning in from Istanbul. I believe we now have a new record for distance from Algeria there. Thanks for tuning in. Texas, Watsonville, Salinas, whole Bay is beautiful. Ah, well, we agree with Raul. And thank you everybody in those communities for being our neighbors here along the Central Coast and supporting the Aquarium's mission. Oh, Kelly Fuller, friend, wants to know, what is the temperature of the water right now in Monterey? Uh, it's actually probably maybe warmer than the air right now. 
Uh, the water is about 53, 51, 53 degrees, depending on the depth, which is pretty classic for the area. Um, and this time, for those of you who are divers, this is the best time of year for diving by far uh, when it comes to visibility. We've had incredible views underwater right now, which is crystal clear water. So for those of you folks that are divers interested in coming down to the area to scuba dive, it's a great place to do so to get into some kelp and uh, winter is really some of the best time between the storms. Always have to qualify between the storms. It can get a little gnarly around here, so don't push it. Oh, thank you for your donation there, Kelly. Good morning, everybody. Oh, good morning from Alaska. Thanks for tuning in. All right, just scrolling through some of your comments to see what's going on. Hey, hey, we've got Anonymous that just donated to YouTube over there. Thank you so much, Anonymous. Appreciate you over there. And we've got Steven over there on YouTube saying, hello from 3,600 miles away in New Brunswick, Canada. Nice. Visited the area in March of 2020. Oof, yeah. Back when you could, right before we shut down. Thanks for doing so. Thanks for the support of the aquarium there, Steven. Appreciate you. We've got Karen as well, Georgia, good stuff. Yeah, we got also some seagull discussion going on as always. Yes, they are not strictly ocean birds. Any body of water will do. Wonderful. We're tantalizingly close here, everybody. And actually we might even be a little bit blown out Yes, we are. So I'm going to adjust our exposure ever so slightly so that we can see the sunrise in its full glory as it approaches us here at the aquarium. And once again, if you are just tuning in, thank you for doing so. My name's Patrick. I work for the social media team here at the aquarium. And we are live right now from the back deck, one of the best features of the aquarium. This is the only aquarium in North America that is located on the physical open ocean, not a protected bay or a marina. Uh, we are looking at the sea uh, as wild as it can be when we've got the big winter swells right now. Oh, I'm not gonna move the camera because I think the sun is almost here. If everybody in the chat can start singing, here comes the sun, doo 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 doo. We can just get some of those lyrics in the chat to know everybody's getting ready for that sunrise. That'd be awesome. Uh, but uh, once I'm done, once we're done with the sunrise here, I can pan over and show you some of the sunrise on the aquarium building. It'll be beautiful. And you'll notice that the tide is very high right now. Uh, we're heading into king tide season. We'll be doing some more live streams from the back deck of the aquarium on Friday to look at those very high and very low tides that we have going on right now and we become a physical extension of the Monterey Bay during that time. So the aquarium is right there on the wild ocean with the otters, whales, and all the drama that happens in the bay just off the back deck. So definitely one of my favorite places to come at the aquarium. Let's see, who else do we got? Oh, we've got Habkob that's tuning in. Uh, you're tuning in over there from Iceland. <laughs> awesome. Thanks for being here. There we go. Plumber K87 with the jingle. Here comes the sun. Love it. And then over on YouTube, we've got some friends joining us right now. Hello from Miami, Rhode Island. Good morning from Romania. Ooh. I think that might be the furthest east now. Hello from Cal Poly, Pomona. Oh, thank you so much for being there. Good morning from Sacramento. Thank you for tuning in. We are so close here, everybody, to the sunrise here for Giving Tuesday. Once again, we are live from the back deck of the Monterey Bay Aquarium, and our mission here is to inspire conservation of the ocean, much like this ocean off of our back deck, which was not as protected as it is today when we opened in 1984, the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary 
becomes the largest marine sanctuary in the United States in 1992. So eight years after we opened. And so a lot of the conservation, a lot of the marine protected areas, a lot of the work that you may have heard about going on to protect California's coastline is relatively recent, or certainly for my generation of aquarium visitor, a lot of the things that we think, oh yeah, this is protected, of course, were not things that were even thought about necessarily when the wheels were getting into motion to protect this wonderful area after its over-exploitation for many centuries. And so for all of you folks that are tuning in right now, just know that your money supporting the aquarium on these live streams or whenever you come and visit, if you support us over on Twitch with that sub, if you are over on YouTube donating to our fundraiser that's there, just know that those funds go directly to our mission of inspiring conservation of the ocean, which includes research into sea otters, white sharks, as well as uh, rescue and recovery of those otters you may have seen uh, in our in our exhibit hall. We have our seafood watch program to make sure that we are eating responsible, sustainably sourced seafood so we can have our fish and eat them too. And as the sun rises up over here, just know that your support of the aquarium also goes to all of the animals that are in our care so that we can show folks what's out here underwater in this incredible blue planet. And here comes that sunrise. Oh, it's a good one. I'll just let this one play out, no commentary. All right. <laughs> well, closing down my aperture, I realized we've got some dust on the lens there. So we're gonna see how we can fix that real quick. No, that made it worse. It's all good. <laughs> we're gonna look away from the direct sun <laughs> then and take a closer look here at the aquarium as the sun rises over there. There we go. Looking better already. Well, that was wonderful. And now we get to see the sun hitting our building here. Ooh. And uh, one of my favorite parts right now, if you can see right here, is the golden light underneath the deck of the aquarium there where the water is flowing around one of the original blocks of the Hovden cannery. This aquarium, when we opened, uh, it was thought that it would take maybe $20 million to fix up this dilapidated Hovden cannery, which was the largest cannery along Cannery Row back in the day. Opened in 1916, if I recall. Shut down in 1973. And it was the largest cannery along Cannery Row, responsible for about 70 tons of fish per day at its peak. And we have some of the original infrastructure, some of those big uh, blocks that we're sitting on are some of the original building, but so much of the building had to be shut down actually uh, and rebuilt that the aquarium cost about double the amount that we thought, about $55 million in 1984, 
to build the aquarium, but they thought maybe 200,000 people, maybe a million people would visit. And we've been close to two million, excuse me, two million people that have visited the Monterey Bay Aquarium per year since we opened in 1984. So that's many of you out there, many a repeat visitor there as well. I was among those starting in, in the 1990s myself. Um, oh yeah, just want to say thank you to everybody over there on the Twitch chat for being so bright and sunny <laughs> this morning. Uh, thank you Plumber K87. Thank you The Carrots. Hey, good morning from Louisiana. Hello from New Jersey. And yeah, it looks like our passerines just got woken up there on the side. Let's see. I can look back out towards the ocean a little bit more. If anybody out here would like me to, I can point the camera back towards the ocean a different direction. You can kind of guide me here. Now we're now this is all just bonus stream right now with all of you. Uh, how many animals do we have at the aquarium? That's an excellent question. We have tens of thousands of animals in terms of number um, with, ooh, Emily might have to remind me. It's a thousand species, I believe. Ooh, and my laptop internet just dropped. So we are going to see what happens to the stream. Should be good. Hello from Oakland. Thanks for tuning in. Could use more cephalopods though. Well, John, uh, I asked them what's cracking and uh, we didn't have any this morning, unfortunately. But quite a few squid out here in the ocean side of things. Let's see, if I turn my camera this way and zoom in a little bit, you might be able to see a sea otter swimming out here. Let's see. I don't think we have the otter currently. But we can take a look at the world from this direction for a little bit if we'd like. This is now looking out more towards Marina, the Salinas Valley, Fremont Peak area, Sand City, Fort Ord, all of those areas. Hello from St. Louis. Good morning. Good morning. Trying to figure out where the sun is rising over the water there. Yeah, good question. So uh, we are on the Monterey Bay and we are facing back, looking towards the inside of the bay. Oh, hold on. Never mind, the otter just dove. If that otter comes back up, we'll go take a look at it. Um, but uh, yeah, so the bay here points in an interesting direction. So along Cannery Row, we're looking basically straight east. And then if you're on the back deck of the aquarium and you look north, you're looking into land again in Santa Cruz. And I don't know if you can see, we have an otter right here. So let's see if I can zoom in. But right here, friends, is one of our sea otters. Or not our otters, I should say, a wild sea otter is swimming right there off the back deck. Pretty neat. And there are only about 3,000 sea otters in all of California. So you're looking <laughs> at one three thousandth <laughs> of the entire population. But if you think about it, there's 5,000 or so pandas out there in the wild. Um, and here in California, just about 3,000 otters. There's hundreds of thousands of sea otters if you include the northern sea otter, but for their whole range, there should be otters from Korea, basically, from, uh, from Japan and Russia over on the far side of the Pacific from us, all the way across the Pacific Rim, across the Aleutians, down through Canada, all the way through Washington, Oregon, California, and on into Mexico. There should be otters that entire way, um, and they were hunted for their fur. So here along Cannery Row, it's not just 
the bait fish, the sardines that were over harvested, before that were the otters, the abalone, and all sorts of other whales. And well, actually the whales come a little bit uh, before the sardines themselves. And yeah, there we go. Emily has got the numbers. Last census, 70,000 individuals and about a thousand species, give or take a little bit more than that. Good stuff. All right. Well, now we're just looking at the beautiful bay. Let's see, maybe we can, whoop, zoom out and look back at the aquarium. Enjoy some of that view. Yeah, it's not too bad, is it? Nice. All right. Well, with that, everybody. Oh, and uh, let's see, over here on YouTube, we got some folks. Hello from Kerala, India. Thank you so much for joining us there. We've got Ronnie as well. Hello from Pittsburgh. Hello from Florida. Oh, and shout out to Anve over here on staff from Florida. Thank you so much for your uh, kind words, everybody. Well, I'm just about ready to wrap up this stream. Just to let you know that we will be streaming our sea otter cam on Facebook and Twitch and Twitter for the rest of today. Um, and we'll have a donate button over there. Wanted to wish you a very great Giving Tuesday. And if you are out there with your philanthropic wallet ready to donate, we've got those donate buttons here on YouTube, on Facebook, uh, on Twitch. You can go to our Tiltify. You can also sub to us over there. Um, thank you so much for your support of the aquarium over the years and today as we continue our mission of ocean conservation here overlooking the wild and protected Monterey Bay. Thanks to all of you folks out there being part of the ocean community for so long. Ah, uh, thanks Anonymous for that donation over there on YouTube. Really appreciate you. We can get another maybe three or four donations or something like that over on Facebook. Then I'll shut it down there. And thanks to everybody who's helping us out over on Twitch. Hey, thank you so much for the sub. Disharmonious. <laughs> nice. I should know better than trying to read people's handles live. All right. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. If uh, you are tuning in right now, this video will be available as soon as it processes over on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch and Twitter. So once we're wrapped up here, do not worry. You can watch the sunrise yourself as needed. But with that, we're going to sign off right now from the back deck of the Monterey Bay Aquarium for Giving Tuesday here. Thank you, everybody, for being there. Have a wonderful rest of your day, wherever you happen to be. And we will see you again soon at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Thanks, everybody.